So what's next for Sunak? Well, they still have some upcoming payments that they have to service. So it's going to be interesting for the chairman, Sung Hong Bin, Sherry, who was known as China's white knight. He's bailed out several of his fellow billionaires before in the past in their empires, but still unable to save his own company now. He's dipped his own pocket of $450 million. He's also tapped into investors to buy shares and raise more than $2 billion. Still not enough for Sunak to avoid that default. And just a few months ago, Sunak was seen as one of the survivors uh, in this liquidity crisis. And now it's become the biggest developer to default on a public bond this year. And warning now that they may not be able to meet some of these obligations coming up as well. The payment in question was first out of four of these dollar bond payments that were due in April. So they're going to have to ramp up the extension exercises once again because it's going to be pretty difficult to meet those obligations. Uh, Sunak now, as we've been hearing from Hong Kong Economic Times, they're now finding more strategic investors to try to improve the company's credit status, also to try to restore financial capabilities. Uh, but they now join more than a dozen, including Evergrande, of property developers that have defaulted on their dollar bonds and further inflicting more pain for those investing in Chinese high yield. We've seen Chinese developer notes dropping for a record eight straight months now. How much spillover risk is there and the concerns about more defaults in store? Yeah, well, if you look at what the, the street is saying right now, it is that if, if Sunak can't avoid a default, then no private developer is, is basically deemed safe right now. And just goes to show how strained these developers are, given this crackdown from Beijing uh, when it comes to financial risk. You pair that with the economic slowdown that we're seeing, the housing slump, uh, because, you know, people just aren't buying houses in the middle of, of COVID when there are lockdowns or restrictions. So we've seen contracted mm. sales have also been quite poor as well. Uh, T. Rowe Price came up with a pretty interesting note after this Sunak default saying, look, the extent of the spread up the chain has been very remarkable and surprising for many investors out there. They were thinking in this cycle, you may expect about 20 to 30 percent of developers defaulting. Now you're talking about 60 or 70 percent of this market being priced under 60 cents uh, on the dollar where the implied default rate is very high. Bloomberg Intelligence also saying defaults and extensions now make up about 70% of Chinese high yield, which is basically showing that it's, quote, uninvestable. So Sunak certainly uh, sparking some more fresh concerns once again about the distress that these property firms are dealing with right now, even ones that were once deemed too strong to fail.